one of the few areas where I go, where I bring my old belt is here. Um, this gym, although it moves in location, in spirit, is a lot of where I also honed my black belt skills. When I, uh, Matt was the second seminar I did, and Matt was a, a blue belt under Hickson at the time, and I was a new a black belt. And in some ways, I felt a little homeless at the time because my coaches, the Machados, which were kind of all breaking up at that time, and Hickson and Horion had broken off, and everybody was kind of, there was Game of Thrones turmoil at the top. And as an American, and I don't think this is exclusive to being an American, but, and I came from a high school wrestling background, turns seeking out reality, martial arts via Muay Thai, landed in the Akali Ajit Kundo world, which at that time was probably the most realistic of the martial arts, or certainly had elements on the periphery of it. And Jiu-Jitsu, like many, changed my life. And my intent when I showed up in the wrestling room of that day was to return to wrestling and well, join the college team. And when I showed up, I saw guys wearing white karate suits, because they weren't even the well, judo ones in those olden days. Collars were thin, easier to choke, all that other stuff. And Mitz Yamashita, who was the Aikido club guy who also instructed at the IMB Academy, whom I knew, was showing guys mount escapes, with the UPA escape. And as a wrestler, I thought, nobody mounts anybody anymore. I didn't even know what that word meant. You, you, you pin them, you head and arm, but pin them, you hold their back on the mat. You, you wouldn't step over, because then the guy would escape. And of course, to make this long story as short as I can, um, within about five subs where I didn't know even how to tap and was choked and arm locked by a guy with no wrestling experience, with, least, with less athletic skills than me, was easily handling me on the mat. And I was sold on what I'm gonna call the magic of the jujitsu. And if anyone who knows me, knows that I do not believe in magic. However, I believe in the illusion of magic, and I believe in the science behind magic trickery. And that is how I've always approached this, mostly, occasionally, approaching it athletically. And the athletic approach on this is what you commonly observe in current high-level sport style of jiu-jitsu, or MMA, because the sport of this is, before we get there, you might say, if you could sum up what is a jiu-jitsu in half a paragraph, what would you say? I knew you'd ask me. But jiu-jitsu is the art of controlling and submitting my opponent in that order, utilizing the least amount of athletics and attributes, and the maximum amount of knowledge, cunningness, and guile. And knowledge means structure, movement, placement, all that stuff. That's the art. And the art allows for exploration. Because it's not bound by man-made rules of engagement. What is the sport, you ask? I knew you'd ask me that. But the sport is, how do I deploy my art within the man-made rules of the game, whether it's MMA, IBJ, JF, Chuck's backyard brawl off, whatever it is, the man-made rules of the game, sanctioned or not, utilizing all of my art and the maximum amount of my athletics attributes, because my goal is to win, not explore. 
not refine. My goal is victory, or I die, or I get punched and embarrassed, which is usually more the case. Um, and the street and the self, the defense aspect of it, and I only use the word street because it's a simpler word and it fits more in, in, in my OCD weird mind that has to have everything be in threes. I just have this thing that I hate the binary because of my head ping pong balls in. You know, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, left, right, left, right, this, and I add a third, which gives me the illusion that allows me a brief escape out of the binary. And street aspect is this murky gray area that often leads to hypothetical analysis and brain well, paralysis and becomes this thing where you're doing throat punches and eye gouges rather quickly because of that well, primary fear thing. And then I'm going to stop talking. All right because half that shit will be edited out, hopefully. Or, all right, all right, everybody stand up.